Good evening. Ah, classic, classic old Lex <laughs> intro. Old lady Lex intro. Or just old Lex intro. Intro? Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hello, YouTube. It's a little dusty in here, isn't it? It's a little, um, some cobwebs. <laughs> And not the not the cool Halloween spooky kind, but just like the old, dusty, slightly abandoned kind. Sorry about that, you guys. Hi! We have a very, very special, exciting reason that I'm back here today on YouTube because my dear friend, who I am very, very, extremely very proud of, made you look, aka Lex, has released her very own line of body paint. No! Body paint. Of course I'm back. Of course I'm here. <laughs> that's a, that's all you needed to like be like. Whoo, whoo. <laughs> I guess that's an alert sound if you're like a dove or something. What is that noise? Um, <laughs> I have missed you. I hope you are all doing well. I have some life updates and stuff about where I've been, everything we've been up to for the last few months. Let's get our featured patron. Featured patron. I have my goblet. It's like the only thing that's not Halloween. Oh my God, Harold. Harold? Harold? Should I put these in Harold just for today? For old time's sake. Oh, Harold! Oh, Harold, who do you have for me today? Harold is sending his little pumpkin-y love to my darling, my darling cat. Cat, this video is for you. Thank you, thank you for being a pal all this time. And thanks for being my friend. This video is for you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed knowing you. Wow, that sounds very final. <laughs> like, okay, nice knowing you. Uh, goodbye forever, cat. No, please don't leave me. I love you. Okay, thanks, Harold. Are you ready to review the Made You Look Body Paint line? I am hyped. I am PH hype fight. I'm ready to do this, you guys. Let's flashback. Hi. Things have changed since I've last seen you. My hair is green. For one, uh, and it also looks like it hasn't been brushed since quarantine started, but that's besides the point. It is a slimy, limey, beetle juice green. So that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, what if I just wore like, oh my god, they look like eyebrows. <laughs> what if I just wore like this? Oh, hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Just as weird as ever, though. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. And the mouth up there? Okay, why? Why? Why do I want to derail everything that I already want to do and, and glue this onto my head and make like a, ah, uh, a scary mouth monster? No. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Can I leave this on my head? Like, honestly, I love it. Okay, new new hat for the season. Okay, where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? Let's start with Lex. I just received a PR package, probably, definitely, without a doubt, the most special, the most thoughtful, the, like, most sweetest, genuineest, and just so, so special. The most special PR package that I have ever received in my years of YouTubing because it is just packed with so much love. It is packed with like so much heart. And okay, look, let me just show you this and then we'll, then we'll talk about the paint. Then we'll talk about the paint. But Lex freaking painted, Lex hand painted this palette for me, like how incredibly sweet and special. I love it so much, I'm gonna like egg it on my wall. I'm going to look at it every day. <laughs> this is now like top prized possessions. Look at all of these guys. Look at these cute little skulls. Can you guys see it? Look at this, look, these little cute skulls. Look at the little bats and the eyeballs of the spidey. Look at the little ghosty. Perfect. <laughs> 
perfect. I love it so much. All right. Well, <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you, Lex. Thank you. Um, 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 okay. Yeah, new made you look body paints. I was having the hardest time deciding what I wanted to paint with these first. Like, what is my first, my first made you look body paint? Oh, put a little asterisk on that. It's not my first made you look body paint because I actually have recreated one of her paints before, but I never posted it. I was going to be a video. It, I don't know what happened. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but but this will be my first made you look paint with made you look paint i wanted to recreate one of her looks but the problem was there's so freaking many amazing looks that lex has made over the years like how do you choose just one there's so freaking many so i was scrolling through her youtube and uh i, I was i was deep i was pretty far back i want to recreate the look that Lex was painted in the last time I saw her, like in person. It's an old one. I haven't seen Lex in a really long time, but when I saw her, it really like, oh my God, seeing these looks in person, it really boggles the brain. It shakes up your mind a little bit and you start questioning everything about reality and what your eyes are seeing and how your brain is processing it. It makes everything very confusing because when I last saw her, she was wearing this. I was standing face to face talking to all of these faces and when her mouth moves and her eyes blink, it's very confusing to the brain. <laughs> It's, it's such a cool look. It's such a cool look. Ah, uh, this was from Halloween 2016. Is that possible? I haven't seen Lex in four years. <laughs> that needs to change, but. Okay, okay, so this here, this is our inspo for today, but using Lex's paint. I have not opened any of them yet. I thought, uh, I, I thought that we could do it together. I also wanted to show you guys this packaging before I open them all up because it is, it is just so Lex. It's so perfectly Lex. Uh, it has some of her drawings, her stickers all over the packaging. And then the back has, the back has directions of how to use it. It has the ingredients. So if you guys want to see all of that, go ahead and pause this right here. It is cruelty free. Um, water activated paint it comes currently in eight different colors there's a primary pack uh you can get them individually but there's also a primary pack that is white black red yellow and blue <laughs> like wait what are the primary colors yes okay and then um there's also a halloween pack which is bone color bone tone uh a brown and like a spooky red a bloody red spooky bloody red <laughs> i want to recreate this paint um in the colors that lex's paints come in you can mix colors together to make new colors which is why a primary pack is so great you can make pretty much any color with these like so if i wanted to make these same colors that lex is using here i could mix like blue white yellow for you know the the lime green and then different shades of the blue and white for for the other two but since i really want today to to take a look at at the paints in their <laughs> as they come glory we're gonna swap up the colors of all of these little faces i am i am super undecided on how i want to do this like do i want to do the like primary color faces or do i want to do naturals do i want to do like a spooky like halloween browns and like like the halloween pack like that would be so cool too i, I, I i'm thinking that maybe we'll, we'll go ahead and just swatch all of them and kind of decide from there uh you guys already know how this turns out you already know what colors i pick i feel like we're in a movie <laughs> i feel like we're in a movie and you guys are the audience you already know so much more than i do in this current moment in time i don't know what colors we're gonna use you're like sitting there screaming at the screen don't open that door bloody no <laughs> Yes, you all-knowing people. Okay, let me swatch. Let's start with my personal favorite and the one I'm also most curious about. Um, so the white one. The reason the white one is my favorite is because of the name of it. The name of the white body paint is Yeti. And in case you don't know, I might be a little bit biased about <laughs> that name as I have my very own Yeti Paletti my little fluffy belly cat. I'm like, oh, 
she named her daddy. I actually screamed. I was like, she named her daddy. <laughs> um, it's not named after my cat for the record, but you know, let me pretend I am excited about it. Okay, the reason I'm most curious about this one is because white body paint is tricky, it's tricky. Uh, it's one of the hardest colors to get it like looking super smooth and not like streaky. So let's see how it looks. ink next which is the black one we'll get black and white out of the way up front those are two very important colors in body paint I just like squirt it with water and then get a little bit of paint on both sides of the brush do a little swipey swipey my arm is like disappearing <laughs> into uh, my Shrek chair which uh, this is a goosebumps mask by the way we decorated my room for Halloween on twitch and uh, this goosebumps mask became lovingly known as Shrek <laughs> Besides the point, but it the black is like disappearing into Shrek's outfit. It's so smooth It's so smooth. So far. I am impressed. I am psyched. I am like, oh so excited. Okay, let's do red next. There we go. This one is called cherry it's, it's a primary like true red in my arm right <laughs> to show you guys hold on there we go look at it look at that bright red oh that bright red look at that bright red uh next we will do yellow this one is called sunflower <laughs> this video is gonna be like 30 minutes of me just squeeing me squealing i'm so excited <laughs> Never been able to apply yellow like this. Like, oh my god, my mind is like blown right now. <laughs> um, okay, do you guys remember that? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm even saying the word Alexa Bell and re and, and like. We're, we're trying to forget that video ever happened, but my Isabel video where I painted myself yellow like this, I struggled to get that yellow to be opaque. This looks perfect. What? Look at that. Well, I'm not doing Alexa Bell again, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> but it almost, almost kind of makes me want to. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But it makes me want to because, dude, get it together. I'm mind blown. Next up, we are going to swatch the last one from the primary pack. This is the blue one and it is called Neptune. Oh, oh, it's like, this is the wrong brush for this, by the way, but it's still looking like, wow, it's so smooth. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Wait, and I hold it like this, it's like straight up and down, and I try to show you guys, it's like going off, off the way. It's perfectly, perfectly opaque. It looks perfect. It's perfect blue. Can you guys see like how smooth that is? I, oh, whoa, whoa. What? What? Wow, 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 wow. So this is the primary pack. If you've ever wanted to start body painting and you wanna get yourself some quality paints, but you don't know where to start, paint quality really does make all the difference with um, body paintings. In my experience, um, when they go on so much better, not only does it usually produce a better final product, it the frustration level matters a lot to me when I'm painting. It matters a lot to me and my enjoyment of the actual painting process 
<laughs> I'm so happy and I'm so proud of Lex. If you're looking for, okay, right, so what I was saying, sorry. Uh, if you're looking for quality paints, um, I mostly use Graftobian. I do have some Krylon water activated paints as well. These, these made you look paints so far. I mean, I, I'm, I'm brand new to them. I, this is literally all I've done with them. These already are exceeding my expectations by like a mile and they're already my favorites. And I haven't even done a full look with, I just can't, I, I cannot believe how these are going on. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at the Halloween pack. Uh, more swatches, more swatches, four days, please, 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 please. Okay, okay, okay. So the Halloween pack includes Bone Tone, Oak, and Vampire. Let's, let's, let's bone tone, which is like, um, exactly what it sounds like. Like when you're painting bones and stuff and you don't want them to be like this stark white. Here's bone tone compared to white, so you guys can get a little comparison. Okay, so this one is vampire, which in the pot here looks like a dark brown, but I believe is a, uh, a dark red, like a, I've been calling it spooky red. It's kind of like a blood red, yeah. Uh, this one here is the Graftobian uh, Propate. This one is called Blood Red, and you can see it also looks brown in the pan. Uh, this one's wet already, so <laughs> it looks like it might be a little bit darker than the Propate. Excited to try it, uh, but <laughs> um, if you don't keep the, the the Blood Red ones separate from your browns, there's definitely been times where I've dipped into them thinking I was getting dark brown, and I was like, oh, it's red, it's red, it's red. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, this is Vampire. Uh, it's just called Vampire, yeah. Help, I'm running out of arm. Okay, uh, we'll do it down here. Yes, 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 that blood red. Yes, 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 yes. Look at it. 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 <laughs> spooky. Spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all of these. Ooh. Okay, and finally, we have oak, which is a brown color. A final stripe down here, I guess. Wow, wow, wow. Here, what if I do it up here? Then you can see, there we go. So this is a Halloween pack, Bone Tone, Vampire, and Oak. This is Neptune, Sunflower, Cherry, Ink, and Yeti. Wow, 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 wow. I am so impressed. I am so impressed. Okay. But wait, what colors do I want to do for my skull stack? My stack of heads. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to do like a, I feel like a cartoony version with the primary colors? Or do we want to make this kind of spooky? It's close to Halloween, certainly, when this video comes out, isn't it? It's probably past Halloween. <laughs> Knowing how I've been lately. Mm. <laughs> be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Uh, why don't we use the Halloween? pack since it's Halloween time and we'll be using all of these all the time so I guess it doesn't really matter what we choose <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot more of these and the mask is gone I miss it already <laughs> all right let's pop some eyeballs on let's pop some monster eyes on this face several sets several bears of them hmm. what oh <laughs> Just started, already launched my eyebrow pencil. It's cool. Ooh, you know what would be cool with this kind of like multi eye look is if you did it in green and then like were like a, a praying mantis or something or like a cricket. <laughs> a praying mantis, a praying mantis, a cricket. I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> her other ones are down by her nose, down here. Oh, my skin is like. So dry today. Well, this will be a test for how this paint does on dry skin. How come I am like looking at my eye and I still can't tell? I still don't know what shape my eye is, and it's like literally. I'm like, this doesn't look like my eye. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna wing it, as always. They kind of look like turtle shells. That's the, my eye shape is turtle shell shape. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> all of these eyes that we have here, um, none of them are my eye shape and also none of them match each other. So, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I should preface this by saying that this is probably not really gonna look anything like Lexus because she's like the most amazing body painter in the world and I am like, nah, okay, so. Okay, next step is. And shaded them using gray eyeshadow around the top. Of course I don't have a gray eyeshadow over here. 
<laughs> of course. Had a kiss? You have to poop for a second, okay? <laughs> Careful. All right, gray eyeshadow. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, gray eyeshadow along the top of the eyes. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. And then we take a quick break for for cider and a mug with your cute little grandparents' faces on it. <laughs> They're so cute. Spiced apple cider because it's fall. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love fall. It tastes like fall in my mug. Hmm. I'm trying to say what color I want to do the eyeballs because I don't, uh, I could do green like mine uh, or, hmm. I think I do have brown contacts, but there's circle lenses, which is like actually very cute and kind of the opposite of like spooky skulls, but brown might look good with like the, um, the natural tones of the Halloween pack. So I guess we'll, let's do brown eyes and I'll throw those brown circle lenses in. Maybe we can be cute scary. It is fall, autumn in this mug right now. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Which fall, I guess we could talk about fall. If we wanna jump into some life updates, I mean, we could do that. We, I, I'm ready, if you're ready, are you ready? Are we ready? <laughs> so fall, autumn, Halloween, the wedding. The wedding. A lot of people have been asking me about the wedding, what our plan is. If you are new here, I don't know if you can tell by my room here, uh, by my wedding date, by just everything about me. I freaking love Halloween and we were going to get married on Halloween. A Halloween wedding. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Uh, but, but yes, unfortunately we did have to move the wedding, uh, because of the pandemic and everything, there's no way, there's no way we would risk putting our loved ones, our family, our friends um, at risk. So there's that was not even really in the question to have a wedding this year anymore. So we did end up moving it. We weren't unfortunately able to get Halloween, like the 31st, like actual Halloween day uh, with our venue again for next year uh which is unfortunate i was really looking forward to having our wedding anniversary be actual halloween like october 31st so we just got as close as we could um and our new date is october 23rd october 23rd 2021 yeah <laughs> so that has been a huge bummer uh, obviously <laughs> obviously we're looking forward to our wedding but uh yeah obviously we were really looking forward to getting to see all of our family and friends for the first time in so long it feels like forever since we've seen people um and we were like really hoping that we would be able to see people by this time this year but guys if you're not wearing your mask anymore please wear your mask please for the sake of everyone please just wear your mask it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine life update i'm doing great doing good doing good shading around the outside of the brown eyes i am using oh it's another um like creator friends product i don't have like a lot of friends who are creators so the fact that i can i can have both christy raw beauty christy and lex wear here's a lid here's a, a rogue lid <laughs> in one video together it's upside down very good very nice very good there we go how adorable this collab is seriously amazing it's the best eyeshadow i've ever used I'm not even saying that. I mean, I am saying that. I'm not just saying that. You know what I mean? So I think for around the brown, uh, I'm gonna use this color here, which is a dark, like cool tone, chocolatey brown. We have to decide uh, what order we want to do it in. So we have bone tone. I think maybe bone tone at the top. We have oak, which is the brown one. Should we go bone to brown to red or bone to red to brown? Oh, hers goes down in between her eyebrows a little bit. So like that. Like down, a little up, a little down, and then a, a whoop. 
up. <laughs> like that. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to go to the next, the next goal. Vampire time for the bottom. We're doing the blood red vampire. I think after I get all of the skulls kind of laid out and and like you know some of the detailing in, I might come back in and highlight this the middle one um quite a bit. I might use like this color watered down to highlight it. So far, I'm super super pleased with how this paint is going on. Everything has so uh, vampire vampire time. I look like the freaking Joker. <laughs> like I really butchered putting on my lipstick. I'm gonna shade and highlight this a lot more. I look like a legit ice cream cone. <laughs> I look like a strawberry chocolate and vanilla ice cream cone. Frick, that's not what I was, <laughs> that's not what I was going for. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know how. I feel like this one up here, scary, really scary. And then down here, straight up, E.T. <laughs> Poor E.T. down here is just like, me. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to paint this black. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, okay, shake it out, okay. Shall we get our little ice cream uh, neck body? Neck body? Yep. <laughs> Oh, I can talk again. Now that I'm not like drawing on my face. When was the last time I even saw you guys? Oh, it's probably been about a couple of months now, yeah. <laughs> I see you guys on the camera. I feel like I was just giving you life updates as ET. Which by the way, I recently went to a drive-in movie. I've never been to a drive-in before and it was so, so so much fun. It was so much more fun than I was expecting to be. I had like the best time. I was, I was telling Bea, I was like, if it were my birthday right now, like if I can redo my quarantine birthday, I would want to go to the drive-in. This is so much fun. We have, uh, we have like a, an SUV. We like made this cute little cozy, like blanket fort in the back of the SUV and then had the, um, the back like open, but tied down. So it wasn't like all the way open. <laughs> Everyone wouldn't be able to see, but, um, they did a triple feature and we just like cozied up and watched the movies and then they had like good snack. Going to the movie theater is like one of the things I miss most um, from from quarantine. Like obviously, <laughs> obviously seeing my friends and family is like what I miss most. But as far as like activities and fun things that people do, um, going to the movies 
is what I miss the most. We used to go all the time. Now I can't do that anymore. So it was right when the weather was starting to get nice. So it was like all like cold outside. We had all the blankies and stuff. Um, do you like that E.T. is telling you this story? Oh, that is why E.T. is telling you the story. One of the movies we saw in the triple feature was E.T. We saw E.T., we saw Jaws, and then we left before the last one because we're old and it was started at like two in the morning. Seeing E.T. at a drive-in, I was like, wow. Wow, living life right now <laughs> in 2020. I guess as far as like life updates, the only other real thing that I've been like up to since you guys last saw me is Twitch. I, I, I like, I don't know, I like hesitate to even talk about Twitch. I don't know, people like get mad on YouTube when you talk about Twitch. Why? I guess, I guess it's maybe, maybe because a lot of YouTubers have jumped to Twitch over the last years, the last few years. And um, now that I have kind of done that as well, I, I, I get it. I really, really get it. I, trust me, I get it. <laughs> In the year of 2020 when the entire world is falling apart twitch has been like my uh, like my little happy place my little like oasis in the doom and gloom if okay i only gotta talk about it for a little bit because i don't want to make people mad but i think maybe one thing that people get mad about is is because people hate when youtubers complain about youtube is it a dream job to create content all the time? Yes, absolutely. But there is so much more to YouTube than that. <laughs> I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining because I, I truly love all of you guys so much and I and this community has been a just launching platform for so many things in my life. I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining because I'm very grateful for all of you guys here. Um, but when you, when you do YouTube long term, like I have, I've been here six and a half years, I think. Uh, YouTube's a very isolating job. It's a very lonely job. For the most part, you don't, well, I mean, like, you know, for channels like mine, uh, you don't really work with other people. So you're just alone all the time, which I think plays a big part in why so many YouTubers have jumped to Twitch because it's like everything that I love about YouTube. It's like the creative outlet, out outlet, out yes, <laughs> outlet, the creative outlet and like the community and hanging out with you guys in real time without the like crushing loneliness. <laughs> That sounds so sad and dramatic, but really like, you know, I could be doing the exact same things I'm doing on YouTube with people to hang out with, with you guys to hang out with. And let me tell you how much better that is than doing it by yourself. I have, I, I needed it. I needed it so bad um, for just, especially this year being like such a soul crushing year for so many people having something that i'm looking forward to every day hanging out with my friends every day i am in the best mood when i end my streams and like if i'm working on youtube i'm like i'm so stressed out i'm so sad well everything is everything is lonely and be is like it's okay pat 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 and uh, uh in the contrast when i get off of the stream i'm like and then we did and he's like oh my god it's like night and day like i am in the best best mood when i finish um, when I finish my streams, that's not to say that I don't care about people on YouTube. I, I, and I, and I do see, I do see all of, um, your messages and comments that you guys are missing my videos and that I, it really means a lot to me. It really, really does. And I'm not leaving forever. I'm not leaving forever. I'm just, um, I'm doing what I have to do right now to like care for this, um, Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream body and, and my little ET mind. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to do what I need to for me and for me it is Twitch right now it's so fun um oh I love everyone so much 
I have also just like made the best group of friends on Twitch. It's like the closest group of friends I've had in years, in years, years. I have a little stream team. We are called Death Flower and there are five of us. It's me, Doc, Harley, uh, Sissy, and Suezo. And we, we just have the best time. And not only have I like gained all of these new friends in Death Flower, the Death Flower community is freaking so awesome. Oops, talked too long. Talked too long. My battery was like, how dare you? <laughs> uh, we have things to do. Um, <laughs> where was I? Death Flower, obsessed with Death Flower, obsessed with my friends. And um, so like also one thing that we do that's like my favorite thing that's like super, super, super fun is we have a thing that we call flower fridays which is i literally look forward to this every week like all week i'm like oh. so each week we, we death flower pick a theme and then on fridays all of us stream one after the other so there's five of us that stream on fridays and then we all like dress up according to the theme and sometimes they're community themes where like Everybody in the Death Flower community can dress up along with us, which is so fun. I love seeing um, community outfits. And then also, uh, and then sometimes there's surprises. Like when we do big, big, big ones, they're very fun surprises. Reveal surprises like, woo, today's theme is Monster Mash <laughs> or whatever. We've been doing a bunch of um, uh, Halloween themed themes. Halloween themed themes? sure <laughs> um throughout the month of october we did monster rash which oh my god they're okay all of my friends are so cute and then i'm like the one that shows up <laughs> to the monster rash like this <sighs> <sighs> why am i so scary <laughs> And all my friends are pretty adorable. So we did like Monster Mash. Braids! We did, we did horror movie themes and I finally did Jigsaw. I've never done a Jigsaw look. Can you believe that? Do you want to play a game? Hello. Crazy, crazy. And then we did candy corn, which I don't like candy corn. So I did like this horky, a pukey <laughs> thing. Hark! Hark! Casual. Oh, I just feel like I could talk about Twitch for so long. It's like truly, truly my happy place. I'm, and Lex is like one of the main reasons that I started streaming because I've spent so much time on her streams and I felt so welcomed by her community that I was like, I need to be here. This, I need this. This is wonderful. I want this. So I just swooped on over. I'm so glad I did because I, I'm happier than I've been in a very long time. And I really mean that. Uh, the last, I don't know, probably like two or three years, long time on YouTube, I've just been very lonely, really lonely. Twitch has like breathed some fresh life into me. I am like fully like inspired to paint again. I've been painting way, way more than I have in the last like few years combined. Like I stopped making makeup videos like all together on YouTube, you know, you, you might have noticed, I don't know. But now I'm painting every week for Flower Friday. I love it. <laughs> oh, we, we have fun. We have a lot of fun. Okay, and now my memory card's like, seriously, why are you still talking? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just love Twitch so much. I love my friends and I love our community and all of my friends in our community and everybody. I just love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I said I would not talk about it very long, but man. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to me. Okay, if you don't like when YouTubers talk about Twitch, I'm waving you down, I'm flagging you down. You can go back now. <laughs> I'm done talking about Twitch. And uh, that, that, that's also, it's not just about Twitch, it's also a, a life update. Cause that's where I've been. That's where I've been spending all my time. It's what I've been doing is streaming. And it's lovely. <laughs> okay, but now that that update is over, I should probably stop talking so I can just finish this paint. It paints so much slower when I'm talking. Aw, oh, it's such a little smiley mood now. Okay, now that I'm like disappeared, which looks so cool. <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, I just need to pop in my brown contacts so that I match the other eyeballs and put on a black wig so this little slime head disappears. <laughs> I love it! I love it! This is so fun! Painting is so fun. Oh, the neck looks so <laughs> cool. 
I am a, what does she call it? Let's see, let's see what Lex actually calls it. I am a trippy six eye skull makeup person. <laughs> I think this looks so cool. I, I've never, it's not like perfect by any means. Uh, <laughs> I've never done the, the like multiple eye thing before. And I think, uh, I mean like, it's not perfect. I, I have a ways to go with like learning and practicing that. But for the first time, I think this looks freaking so cool. Awesome. And the neck, I love the neck. The neck is like disgusting, especially in these colors. It's like, all like twisty and like intestiny. It actually looks freaking so cool. Okay, so my review of Lex's body paints. These are some of the best paints I have ever used. These look, they like went on so smooth. Um, I I have nowhere near. <laughs> I am nowhere near the skill level that Lex has painting, and I think follow between using her her paints and following her tutorial, this looks a bang, and this looks so good. I mean, to me, I I like it. I think it looks good. <laughs> Oh, I want to paint so many things. I want to paint all of the things now. Okay, so all of the body paints. I don't know if I've said this yet. <laughs> we we'll wait till the very end of this video. All the body paints um, are available at madeyoulookbylex.com. Um, I think there some of them are sold out. Um, a good bit of them, actually. Uh, I think I saw on one of her streams that her next restock will be in December. So if you want one of these, if you want all of these, get them as soon as you can. Uh, because they will sell out and it'll be a little bit before they're back. Should we see what P thinks of this? Do you think he'll see like... Do you think he'll be like, wow, you look like E.T.? Do you think he'll look at me and be like, you look like a banana split? What do you think? Okay, look at Am I in the shot? Am I in it? Is this better? I feel like mine looks like um a stack of ice cream. Ice cream? <laughs> like a, a no, vanilla... you look fleshy. Fleshy. Pork. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that scene in Hellraiser when the dude, like, the oh. corpse is back and he's like, it's from eating the dead bodies that he's like getting a little bit of his flesh back, but he's at this like in between phase where he's like, doesn't have his skin, but he's got like some muscle and ligament on yeah. his bones. Yeah. That's kind of what you remind me of. Oh, that's way better than Neapolitan ice cream. I mean, I'd rather eat one <laughs> instead of the other. The red one that looks like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Halloween and that you guys are all hanging in there. Hey, this year's been tough and you, you've you made it this far. I am proud of you. I hope that you guys have a wonderful Halloween no matter what you're doing for it. If you're dressing up and just vibing in your kitchen, I'm here for that. Yes, I want to see your costumes. Um, come hang out with me on Twitch. Kat, thank you so much for being just the best. Thank you for being our featured patron and a wonderful friend to me um, for all this time. Thank you, Lex. Thank you, Made You Look Fam. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Vote! Please vote. I am begging you, please vote. This, we are in a very, 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 very important election. Please use your voice. Please vote. Okay, uh, anything else? Have a happy Halloween. Is it too late to add shading under these eyes? Do you want to do Hellraiser? Should we make a Hellraiser version? Um, tell me no, tell me no. It's calling to me. <laughs> okay, where's my blood? Blood. Blood. We must. We must. My spooky body. <laughs> my spooky body needs it. All right, y'all. Who wants to get gross? This is like the after credits of a movie. Like our little family friendly ED after credits is like gore fest. All right, let's lose this hair for a sec. Just for a sec. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Your eyes, ET. Oh no, now they're all bloodshot. Oh no, ET, oh no. Oh God, Yeti, it's not a good time. Of all the time that I've been painting this now, now that we have blood everywhere, it's not a good time, Kitty. <laughs> it's not a good time, please. <laughs> you're gonna get, oh, you're gonna get blood in your fur. And then everyone's gonna think I'm a mom. I'm not a mom, I love you so much. Ew, look at this one dripping down into the eye. Ugh. 
Lark. <laughs> Lark. Drop bloods on the tear sides of the eyes. Don't cry. It's okay, E.T. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I imagine this is probably not what Lex had in mind when she made these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like this one, like the one that's vampire color, should be all bloody. Because like it's it's like the muscle tissue, kind of. Let's make it all. Ew. Ew. Lex, I'm sorry for this abomination that you're... <laughs> Your beautiful, creative, trippy eyeball paint has become. Wah. <laughs> no, you have to come say it closer to the mic. My voice can't get that low. That's okay. <clears throat> Pretend you're corpse. Wait, isn't it? Is it demons to some, angels to others? Demons to some, angels to <laughs> others. So weird. It's gotta be angels to some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nailed it, though. Wow, we look great. Very believable. Would hire me for Hellraiser part 19. <laughs> we should have ended this 20 minutes ago. All right, let, okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Thanks, Lex. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you whenever, whenever I see you. Have, have a good one. I love you all very much. <laughs> Bye, sorry, I'm so scary. Go crazy.